Hello and welcome back to Elder King. So, we are at war with Kvatch. Take a little bit more land from them. And, uh, yes, it should go alright. Get rid of these men here. We'll raise up the rest of them. The reason we're getting rid of those is because they might get killed by Kvatch's army. And there's no reason to do anything risky when we already have such a man advantage on them. They're merging up. They're probably going for Kvatch, by the looks of it itself. No, they're actually going for uh, Trombe. Okay. A daughter was born to us and Carlotta named Adriana. She is, uh, she is a genius. Oh, wait. Carlotta is our lover, not our wife. Oh, I forgot. Well, uh, fantastic. We have a bastard, genius, heartlander. Hmm. Seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Let her Adriana is my spitting image. Um, we'll acknowledge her. But nothing, nothing more than that. We'll leave it at acknowledgement. Let's get these people together. Oh, there must be more to life than this. Fantastic, we have lost content. That means we can do conquest wars again. Yes. A bastard can loss a, cause a lot of trouble, insists by Master Colotta, and advise me of possible opportunities to rid the bastard of in the court. Excuse me? Spy Master Colotta, our lover, has said, well, we could kill the bastard that she has just given birth to. No. No, I, I do not want to kill her, but I also don't want Honest. Uh, do I actually care about on? Well, it just We do go into Diplomacy, which we have like a negative 10 to. Uh, uh, let's see if she dies. My liege, while reading through some dusty old tomes I discovered in Pell's, that I discovered in Pell's Gate, I discovered a wealth of forgotten lore on the subject of war and magic. Ooh, military tech points. That's fantastic. I like military tech. Military tech is good. Okay, we'll head over here. We will lead this army ourselves. We'll see if we can build up that warlord trait again just by continually going to war. And, uh, yeah, so we should be able to do some conquests over here soon, which would be nice. They won their siege. All right. Dear Count Manlias, I'm concerned about this war you currently struggle with, and therefore I decided I would send you a small gift. Yeah, 2.7 gold. Fantastic. We'll take it. Over here to his capital, and because we're not in a warlord CB, we might as well just siege down the actual war goal. Like, there's no reason to siege anything else. We're not going to get anything else. Um, okay. King has called Prince Ignis of An. Oh, so Anvil has been called into our war. Well, that's all right. I don't think Anvil really have any troops to speak of, so I'm not really that worried. Yeah, we'll just siege it down. Come to my attention that the Councillor Chancellor of Gothel's font uh, has browned and concealed his way through my domain, trying to get enough people to recognize and claim my title. Um, okay, for Gothel's fort, which is somebody who is underneath my. Uh, okay, so this is like somebody who's underneath my grandson. Not that worried. Yeah, he has a claim on my title. Woo. He doesn't have enough men to press it. So he won't. It, it doesn't really matter. Ooh, the Thieves Guild is gone in Skingrad. Fantastic. Uh, and we've lost new administration on these two, which means that our military, we have a very, very large max now. Cool. Uh, we'll raise up the men from Kvatch, and we'll raise up the men from these ones as well, and we'll bring them all in here, I think. Uh, my seduction of Queen Safia has come to an unexpected end as she ended up in prison. I didn't know we were seducing her, but all right. Uh, fine. She's imprisoned by us. Okay. Was that like a hint? Like, go and seduce her now. Nah, I don't really think we're gonna do that. Torture for pleasure? Nah, that doesn't sound about. That doesn't sound like us here. That doesn't sound like where we're going. Ninety-six percent. Oh, we're we're gonna win through taking war score anyway, so we might as well just wait for it. No reason to lose the men. Hmm. Unless he's gonna win this, he's gonna win the siege on this tick. We need to put, we need to push him. Ah, uh, he, he won the siege. Oh well. We should win the war though. Yep. Very easy. He doesn't have all, like he doesn't have people on each flank. So, 100% war score. We will offer our peace and force our demands. We have won. Perfect. This is now directly under our control. It's got a max of. 12, which is fairly good, but we're gonna give it away anyway because we uh, all of our other ones have full levies currently. 
we'll give it away to uh, Matt for Manilio. Manilio. Oh wait, search rail. There we go. We'll give it away to uh, Malpenius. Malpenius, how would you like to have our new land of uh, Miss Carcat? Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, if we disband these men, and I check Kvatch, we are able to do conquest wars. Fantastic. So you are going to be plotted to be killed. There we go. Uh, we will release your wife. Actually, we'll, we'll ransom your wife, actually, first. We'll get her 10 gold. A troubadour and his wife, uh, the... Roboratius has arrived from High Rock. The performances range from vulgar Donair satires to political Breton servants and everything in between, including Nordic songs and Cyrillic poems of courtly love. Uh, I remember those two. They came here last year, so I get 15 opinion bonus, or they will be paid well. Uh, we'll get the opinion bonus. Definitely, definitely. My wife is pregnant again. Okay. And we have got a ransom paid. Perfect. Get the next ransom and we'll start calling people into this uh, plot. Including your wife, who we are actually going to seduce now. Perfect. Wariel, we want to declare the war. There we go. We were planning that war for a while. Uh, we'll raise up all the men. Um, we'll keep the ones nearer actually around for just now because there's uh, no real reason not to. I've set my sights on Queen Safia, but the age difference could cause quite a scandal. Uh, oh well, whatever. Oh! Wait, Safia might have been the person we we're trying to seduce before because, um, she might have been the, um... She might have been the wife, yeah, she probably was nothing, but then this guy came into power, then she became something, then we were sed Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. I was assuming that uh, we weren't seducing him before because we were seducing we weren't seducing uh, this guy's wife. But I forgot that this guy was dead, and it's actually this guy's wife. All right, all right. Well, seduction away anyway. Okay, cool. Let's head over here with all of our men, and uh, I think we actually we could just like put ourselves in charge of this army and just walk over. Yeah, nothing's really stopping us. Let's do that. Rest of you guys, all to Wariel. And, uh, we are. We are in the right province. Hopefully. The Thieves' Guild is a common rumor among the people in many settlements across the land, but it seems those rumors have proven true in Harkade. Um, so we can pay for hunters. Definitely will pay. Harkade. Okay. As adventurers. I thought the Thieves' Guild was a, like, a special event, but... Turns out the Thieves' Guild is just like trolls and things. It's just something you pay for. You pay adventurers to get rid of. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, looks like this guy just aged uh, 30 years in this time. As he uh, must... Yeah, he just hit 50, so he got old man face. Okay. Uh, Siege should almost be finished before we get enough men over here. And then we'll be at War of Anvil, so we should be prepared. Because we'll instantly go to War of Anvil, I think. Could be wrong, no. Uh, Orthus Ossos, our son is our son has been born. Perfect. His son was born to Rodius, uh, who is just a random courtier. Oh, he's the one who we uh, let off with marriage earlier. Okay. Merge up, merge up. Hundred percent. I'm not sure if we'll be at War of Anvil, but we might be. Oh, we're not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we will disband these men. Boreal, we actually have enough to hold it ourselves. Oh, no, because Baron and also just became our vassal. That's alright. How many men do you have? 1.5. Uh, Anvil itself has 300. You know what? We're doing two wars. We're declaring on you. We're going to declare a conquest. We're also going to declare on Anvil. We're going to declare a conquest of Jodestone. Perfect. Raise up the rest of our men. Uh, raise up our vassal's men. And let's merge all of these onto Kvatch. Actually, you know what? Let's raise them all onto uh, Miss Karkent. Because that gives us an extra province to move to. 
There we go. Uh, they have joined the war, which is a little annoying, but we should leave before they get here. Yeah. Yeah. Should leave before they get here. It's not that much of a problem. Just merge up into the center bit here. Uh, yeah. That'll work. 1.4. We want to go for the revolt first, because the re going for the revolt first lets you, uh, like, if you go for anvil for, yeah. Basically, if the revolt moves their men into us and they lose all their army, they will white piece with anvil. So we have kind of like a time limit on them. We have to get the uh, siege down before they they suicide on us or anybody else. But uh, anvil, they're going to be there for a while. Okay, we'll lead this army. We'll put uh, Piner on that flank. Uh, all of our vassals are unhappy. They're generally just unhappy. Is this the revolt army? No, this is Anvil's actual army. Oh, well, we'll leave it alive then. Okay. And, uh, well, let's go siege. Uh, oh. Mavius Otis died. Uh, no, not died. Arrived at our court because his wife died in the dungeons of King Shover. Shover? Of uh, White Run. All right, the God Hater. That's his name of House God Hater. All right. And that was yes, that was what the previous one was. Perfect. Eleven percent every twelve days for the siege. Uh, trolls have arrived. Let's try and get rid of them. Did we get rid of them? Yep. And nothing bad happened. They're spending a lot of money on this, but I feel it is worth it for the Lord Revolt risk. Uh, we really need a larger amount of gold income, but nothing we can really do about that. Child lacks a guardian at age six. He's really good at diplomacy. Let's try and push into that. Let's uh, not give him a title. Let's instead uh, give him a guardian who is good at diplomacy. How about you? Perfect. Right, continue our siege. And we are almost done. Uh, Vic Dust is not satisfied. and keeps asking for more toys to play with. So we can let her have them, which gets her greedy, diligent, or trusting. Um, which one gives her the highest chance of diligent? Charge her to play outside instead, so she gets diligent or she gets cynical. She got diligent. Fantastic. It's a good trait. 100%. And we will offer our peace. We have taken this land. Uh, this land is not very good. We'll give it away. Uh, what are we looking for? How about I... Let's go for Intrigue for once. We'll, we'll get an Assassin. Uh, where are we going? Gar Lass. There we go. Perfect. Now we go beat up Anvil's army and take over the rest of this. Goodbye, army, I guess. That was kind of weird, the army disappearing out of nowhere. Oh, that must have been uh, the army of the Revolt. Which disappeared on the next day. That's kind of weird that it didn't disappear instantly. But alright. We'll take over the siege and we won't complain. And we won't tell anyone. Perfect. Um, we can assault this down. Yeah, easy. We'll go to Anvil itself. And this should give us 100% war score once we're finished it. Uh, yeah. Now I think we can assault this down looking at speed. I don't want to just test that. Yeah, easily. Easily, easily, easily assault that down. 99% war score. Uh, why? We've not won a major battle. Well, let's head up to Anvil and see if we can win if this counts. Oh, you got us a claim on the Khajiit. Fantastic, we'll take it. Oh, yeah. Now we'll move you over one province. You got us a claim on those Khajiit. Right. Head on in. We should be able to find this army. Yeah, we want to fight. Major battle. Where are you going? 21st of the 11th, 14th of the 11th. We're going to catch them. We've killed them 100% and offer a peace. We've taken Jode Stone just uh, directly underneath us. He's our vassal. Perfect. Lots more land. You're still not dead. Uh, why are you still not dead? Because uh, nobody joined my thing. Oh, you joined with gold? Um, 
Yeah, we actually want we want to seduce Rhonda. We want to stop seducing your wife. Not interested in your wife at all. Wait, we're not even seducing his wife anymore? That's kind of weird. Oh, is it because we are currently leading an army? If we stop leading an army, can we go back to seduction? That might be it. That might be exactly it. Um, never wait a day. No seduction allowed. Uh, what about on your spy master? Yeah, there's no seduction allowed, apparently. Thou shall not be seductive. Right, uh, release all these people. Don't really care that they're in our prison. More uh, conquest war. Actually, let's declare the war on Khajiit. Yeah. You have three allies, all of the same dynasty. Um, none of them appear to have a very large number of troops. Let's declare our war. Claim it and send. And then we'll raise all of our troops up. Actually, let's not raise our vassal troops. Just because they seem to be getting unhappy. Let's go merge. Uh, on Robeck. Gives us an extra province to move about. Someone is trying to assert my title. Uh, don't care. He won't. And then we'll merge up in Robeck. You gonna catch us? 20th... 9th... Uh, 12th. Sorry. So you're not gonna catch us. Little bit of an autosave. And we are now merged up. Get our men together. On the 19th we'll move. So Manlius and Penis. Uh, Pinir. Sorry. And on the... Oh, he didn't move. Okay. We'll move in. <sighs> okay. Merge everyone up. And should be fine. 12th, we'll catch him. Yep. And hopefully that should be the Khajiit dealt with. Yeah. Well, this is a closer fight than I expected. Although we do have two flanks. So it's even... Yeah. It shouldn't be that close. But it was. Uh, oh, our steward has discovered Dwemer Ruins during his survey. Oh, great. They're fantastic. These are actually just great all around. Which one do we have an upgrade in? Oh, military. So we get military organization, which gives us retinue. Definitely. Do we have any space for retinue? We have enough that we could get some light infantry if we wanted. Not that bad an idea, actually, but we'll see. We'll leave it a little bit to we have money. Uh, which is more important. You know what? Let's go siege this province. I don't think it's going to have enough that we need to worry about it. There we go. All go in siege. Should not be an issue. See how much, like how good its defenses are. Oh, those are not good at all. 12% every 12 days. We can assault that. Yeah. Perfect. 100%. Offer a peace and force our demands. We have taken the land. It is great. We now have to give it away. Presuming it's not the best land. It's actually the worst land we have. There we go. Give it to whoever has the highest marshal. How about Krull? There we go. You can have the barony of uh, Piriandor. There we are. And we'll disband all the other men. Cool. This seems like a good point to end the episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.